Uh, we're going to measure two things. One is how many times do you actually get past me? And then two is how many points do you score overall? So my favorite uh, measure of efficiency is points per shot value. So we're going to give you 10 possessions. And so it's to your advantage if you can draw a foul, get an and one, you get an extra point. Or if you can get me off of you and actually make a three, then you're getting more points for that possession, right? So given that constraint, constrained space, you're trying to do whatever you can, score as many points as you can. I'm just going to beat you up and take your ball any way I can, right? And we're going to play everyone until you take a shot. So if I, like, knock it loose or you dribble it off your foot, like, whatever, we'll just replay it. We'll only count it if you've taken a shot because that's what we're trying to measure. Make sense? All right, here we go. Taking the three. Whew. Tough one. All right. 0 for 1. Here we go. Good. Two. Two for two. Ready. Two for three. Mm, here we go. Keep it alive. We're still good. Keep that other arm up protection. Two points for four. Here we go. Back to the three. Two points for five. You're good. Keep protected. Try to change speeds. You're kind of going slow, methodical. You need to get me on my heels a little bit. So you get a chance. Two points for six. Whew. On the rim. Good try. Two points for seven. He rolls it in. Good. Four points for eight. Made six points for nine. Last one. He goes for three. Oh, all right. Six points for 10. Let's go two free throws. So that would be what we would call 0 0.6 points per shot on average. Pretty good for where you're at. The real goal is to move toward getting one point for every attempt. That's where we get really efficient scoring.